God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Amen, my friends. If you do not support you, of course, as you can see on the screen behind me, or follow along in your programs as well. First of all, if you're a guest here today, we'd love for you to fill out a guest card. The other side of the guest cards are our prayer cards. You can find both of those cards in our pews, in our racks, let's call them that. If you want to fill those cards out, just drop them off in the offering plate, which is there near where Gail was passing out the programs this morning. There's no youth group tonight, um, as uh, Tina and I just arrived back from annual conference this week. Um, if you're interested in growth group leadership, if you'd like to be a leader, please contact me. Um, we're always looking for folks who are willing to see what God is willing to do in their midst as um, they're willing to help other folks grow in their faith. Also, if you'd like to become a member here at Mercy United Methodist Church, contact me as soon as possible. We'll begin meeting this summer, um, talking about what it means to be a member. If you have questions you've been afraid to ask, drop those questions off to me. I encourage you not to try to tell me something on Sunday morning. Whether it's a question to ask or whatnot, most things I will forget. And I don't mean I can go through the litany of things that happen on Sunday morning for me. I will not bore you with it right now, but I will just suggest that it's best later on to contact me, or at least write a note down for me on Sunday morning. But we'd also love to see what the questions are that you've always wanted to ask. Coke will be having its thank you event for our emergency response um, service folks which can include everyone from the local police department, fire department, EMTs, as well as military and whatnot. That will be occurring on the 20th. More details to come. But um, that's an event open to the public as we say thank you. It would be great if you have that evening for you to come out and say thank you as well to so many folks who serve our community. So that's going to be on the 20th, next Thursday, or next Wednesday, 10 days from today. And for a moment for recognition this morning, I want to say thank you. One to Russ Campbell, who gave up multiple days this week as he was at an annual conference. And Russ actually stayed for most of the, but should I say it that way, Russ? Yeah. Since I sat four rows behind Russ, and he may not squeal on me for what I was missing. But annual conference is that event where in Western Pennsylvania, we meet together, we decide for all 700 some churches in Western Pennsylvania where our finances will go, where our leadership will be. Um, as we look forward to general conference with the special session in 2019, as well as 2020, what's to come. But that means sacrifice. So, Russ, thank you. And also thank you to Dale Boyd, because I was in your conference this week. Dale volunteered, or was volunteered, <laughs> to speak this morning. So show Dale Grace. I'm paid, and supposedly a professional at preaching. Dale has a heart to serve. So if you would, give them in here this morning. Friends, why don't we greet one another with the love of Christ? <laughs>
Now, is there any joys and concerns? John chapter 16, verses 18 through 25. They said, What does he mean by this a little while? We do not know what he is talking about. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, Are you discussing amongst yourselves what I meant when I said a little while, and you will no longer see me? And again, a little while, and you will see me? Very truly I tell you, you will weep and mourn, but the world will rejoice. You will have pain, but your pain will turn into joy. When a woman is in labor, she has pain, because her hour has come. But when her child is born, she no longer remembers the anguish because of the joy of having brought a human being into the world. So you have pain now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice. And no one will take your joy from you. On that day you will ask nothing of me. Very truly I tell you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Until now you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have said these things to you in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but will tell you plainly of the Father. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming today, and thanks for the reading the scripture for me. Today's service. Is, uh, are you ready yet? Now that means, are you ready for the second coming of Christ? And are you ready in case something would happen in the life today? You know, like out there, look at all these shootings we have in the United States now. Are you ready in case something would happen here? 
if you got shot? Are you ready? Do you know where you're going? Do you have a definite uh, uh, plan of where you're going? Are you going to heaven or hell? You have to choose. You can't sit on the fence. There's no sitting on the fence now. You have to choose one way or another. There's so many things each day we have to choose, but this is a, a very important one. The sooner you choose, the better things will be. Uh, I'm going to have you repeat after me here for a few things. First one, I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Grace from God is given to us. Grace from God is given to us. God's only Son, Jesus, died on the cross. God's only Son, Jesus, died on the cross. Jesus gave it all for us. Jesus gave it all for us. God loves us all very much. God loves us all very much. I am a Christian. I am a Christian. I am one of his. I am one of his. I am not junk. I am not junk. One more time. I am not junk. I am not junk. As a Christian, we are in this land here where we have a few things going against us. One, we're a Christian. You know, there's devils fighting us every day, and we have other or other groups, religious groups, that hate us in different countries. So, if that is the case, we have to decide to be like him as much as possible, try to live a good as life as we can, try to love one another as we have here, to love each one of you as much as others, um, the passages I chose was called uh, the world's hatred and, and hatred is very much out there today if you see all these shootings in schools and uh, people driving cars onto baseball fields and uh, how much hatred there is for people anymore and if you look also at some of these rallies we have around the nation, there's more people in the rallies than there is in churches. So that's, uh, we as a, a group of Christians are, we're going downhill. The churches are getting less populated. Um, we are all facing all these difficulties every day. They're just getting worse and worse. We have all these different drugs out there that the kids and the youth and the older people have to fight against. We got all these mass shootings, even in churches today. We have to be careful. Uh, you have in schools, which you never thought of that when you were going to school, or me. I never thought at all that we, I would ever have to worry about being shot at. Maybe have to worry about passing my tests, but not being shot at. Because I was never the greatest student, but that's another thing. But we all have these experiences that we have and we can share to one another. Um, the, as life goes on, there's times we're going to be feel that we're all alone. Like the song, The Footprints in the Sand, when there was only one set of footprints, God was carrying us through these problems, and he'll still do that today. So the thing is to keep the door open and keep God in there with you. Let him in, don't shut the door and keep him out. The devil's doing plenty of things today, if you look at it, all the worrying over guns, all the worrying over all these drugs we're fighting, uh, all the kidnapping of children for other uses. We have so many new things 
in this world now that I never had to worry about back, say, 40 years ago, 50 years ago. And we have more things going on now than we had back 50 years ago. Because the only thing I remember back 50 years ago, I went to church and I went home. There wasn't anything else opened, hardly. You stayed home, you stayed with the family. You uh, did things more as a family. And that's something else we need to work with. Build up our family units. Support our families. Tell them what good they're doing. Because they're facing all kinds of problems today as a family. It's harder to, you know, with the children, with uh, drug problems and all that. They have more to face. Schools are a little harder than it used to be or slacker than they used to be, whichever. Since I don't have any children, I can't tell you. Uh, but this world we live in is not for the, uh, is more for the devil. The devil was out there. He's really pushing his ways of doing things. You can tell it in churches on Sundays where we're losing our population. Or there's churches either closing or being combined because the population isn't there. But we still have to fight on. We're eventually going to win the battle. We know that by the Holy Bible, and that's your manual for life, is the Bible. But the Bible says we're going to win. We will win, but we have a lot of fighting to do to get there. And since we know not the time or the place that Jesus will return. We have to be ready now. And since we don't know who out there is going to do what, and luckily we don't have any of that kind of stuff around here, there's the shootings and all this and that they're doing out west and other places, we should feel grateful for that and uh, thank God for all his protection that he's given us because he'll watch over us every day and he'll be there for us every day and he'll never uh, give up on you you might have to give up on him before he leaves you but he'll never just abandon you because he knows the troubles we've been through because he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for us now that cross I behind me, back in the Roman days, that cross was only for non-Roman people. No Roman ever died on that cross. And the nails were the worst form of punishment there was to be nailed to that cross. It normally took three days to die, but Jesus died in sooner than that. But um, we have a struggle ahead of us and uh, we must keep fighting on and uh, I gotta remember what I was going to say here I lost track. I'm doing this all out of my mind. I don't have anything written down. But uh, Jesus is always here in this place. He's always at your place. He's always watching over each and every one of you, now and always. Um, we as a group uh, will always be there. Uh, we as Christians must keep on going, showing the world what we are. And it's hard to live our life day by day in this kind of a world we live in with everything. But we have to do the best we can and just show that there's still Christian people out here trying to make a living, trying to be a, a light to others. Uh, 
there is so many things in this world that can be against you, and it's easier to do what's wrong than it is to do what's right. Because, like, the, the, the way to heaven is a narrow, straight road. The way to hell is a wide boulevard, you know, you, got, you can do anything you want. As long as you got the money and to do it, and if you look at some of the sh the shootings out in um, Las Vegas that shot all those people at that uh, sound, uh, the man that did the shooting he had everything he wanted. He had money. He had uh, acceptance. Everybody would give him whatever they wanted. But he turned against the people and started to kill. And I think the devil gave him everything he promised. And then he did what he did to, for the either power or for prestige at the end. But we are all in this world together. Uh, he'll never leave us. Um, he cares enough to be with each one of you. Uh, he loves you all very much. And like I said, we are not junk. In the society we live in, there are so many things that we do day by day that we have to be careful of. Um, all these medicines that they prescribe can be used wrongly. Um, and, but we have to remember that Jesus died on that cross for each one of us. Or if we don't have the grace of God to remember that he died for us, we should all be up there. Because he was without sin. But we all were our sinful people. But, but through the grace of God and Jesus dying on the cross, we're now part of his Christian world. And it's best that we decide right now to go to heaven than to hell. So that's why I chose you got to decide now or, or when. But you're going to have to choose sometime. You can't stay on the fence forever. And uh, the devil's going to keep on prying at you. He knows your weaknesses better than you do and better than me. And he throws them at me every chance he gets. Uh, it's an uphill battle all the time. You're here to show others how to overcome. There's many people in the world that never knew Jesus. So it might be something nice you do for somebody that shows them what a Christian is. So all we can do is live each day as full as you can and live it to the best you can. We're not perfect. There was only one perfect man, that was Jesus. And he died a long time ago. All we can do is do the best we got. Because we all have our aches and pains, which I'm feeling a lot more of them. And uh, uh, age creeps up and changes things as we go. But God will always be there for, uh, for all of us. Uh, this world is against us as a Christian. Countries are against Christians and still get persecuted for being one. Uh, and the devil's probably very happy at that. And, uh, but we'll overcome him sooner or later. He'll be put in hell. Or we'll go to heaven. And like I said, Jesus will be coming back for the second time. And all those ready will be leaving with him. So we have to be ready. And we might as well be ready now than later. Because you don't want to be here through the tribulation period and that. And I feel we're li living through some of that now with everything. But we'll manage. And you just have to keep on going. And 
don't give up. And when you feel weak, go to God, pray to Him every day. He'll get you through no matter what. And uh, He will protect you. He'll carry you if need be. And just love one another. Thank you. Now, closing song. Because I know we're not doing communion. <laughs>
Now ending with the prayer today in closing. Please God, bless these people now and forever. Be with each one of them, show them the way, help them to decide one way or another. Be with them in times of trouble, misery, death. Be with this country, be with this uh, community through all the troubles and tribulations we're going through. Be with each one of us till the day you come. Amen.